guys I'm back <laughs> so adjust the camera a little bit so the tooth extraction went okay um, sorry to make a video yesterday but uh it actually kind of went south a little bit because the extraction was on Thursday, but when they took it out, there was like broken fragments and stuff, and it just kind of got up inside the gums and became kind of infected a little bit. Well, it was already infected prior to, which I knew, and I had been taking medications for it, but um, I guess it somehow it's affected the, the nasal cavity, so... Yesterday was hell. <laughs> Gargling salt water and trying to get over that. And then today wasn't much better, but I'm finally getting some relief. Because it was infected and you know it's up near the bone and where the tooth was was next to your canine teeth, if you guys know what that is. Apparently that's what they call the teeth that you have where it's almost like a vampire teeth. Well, I've got, obviously, I've got two of those. So, anyways. So, that's, that's now out. Procedure went well, you know, to finally get it out completely. It wasn't, half of it was out, the other half was in, but. Um, the folks at Aspen Dental did fantastic. They did a great job, but I, like I said, it was already infected prior to. And I just wasn't doing very good. So I was hoping to be better in one day, but I guess it's not always the case. I guess sometimes you gotta gotta let it heal and rest. So I've just been resting up really. I didn't do a video yesterday. I wanted to, but I just I didn't feel like talking would have helped anything. I already have the gift of gab, which it doesn't go in my favor. <laughs> so, I want to thank all the comments, every single person that posted, you know, thank you, I'm doing alright. Traveling Gypsy told me about the dry socket, thank God I've not gotten a dry socket. I've heard about that. My diet's been consisting of applesauce, boost energy drinks, mashed potatoes, a little bit of ramen. And that's pretty much what I've been eating. So nice to see you guys are doing some videos too for the St. Patty's Irish Day or Irish Month Challenge. Mass Hall Van Life has one up that's on Facebook too. Also Traveling Gypsy's done it. Thank you everybody. Van Doc, you've done it. Everybody that's been participating. Welcome all these subscribers. You subscribe to a great channel. We're going to have a blast. So, Also check out Tony Baloney. If I can remember, I'll put the link to the description of his channel. He's actually a semi-living son. Paul and Linda. He's got his first YouTube video up. We need to support that kid. Take care of him. Give him some love. Tony Baloney, if you're watching this, brother, great job on your video. More to come. I will make those pancakes one day. I promise you. But, uh... Right now, I gotta go get some money out of the machine. Because... I want to cook. I did order 
Well, I got a new canister for propane, but I ordered four butane canisters. Because at Walmart, they were sold out. And they were sold out at Meyer, so I didn't have any of those. So, I gotta get some cabbage out. Hold up. Rainy out. It's crazy. It's been like this all day. I miss the sun. Cabbage, now it's time to go do a little shopping. I don't need much. Just need a few things for what I plan on doing. market over here I'm going to go to, I believe. So I want to get some ice cream for my mouth. Still experiencing a little bit of pain, you know. Nothing too dramatic. But it still hurts a little bit. I don't, I don't think you're ever going to feel better, you know. Ah, uh, hell. You know what? I might as well just go to Kroger. Problem is, I, I don't want to go to Kroger and get hit again. So I'm going to park in a different building next to Kroger, and I'm going to walk away ways to get to Kroger. Mad Van Halen, man. He got hit too. Mad Van Halen. If you look at his videos, he's a new subscriber and he's a. Uh, I've been watching his videos. He got hit also. He got hit in his van. And I'm not for sure. I think he's doing better. I think he gets an in injury to his ribs. So, and uh, he just got hit too. It wasn't like he was driving or anything to my knowledge. So, guys, watch it. <laughs> places run for your lives just don't even park insane insane alright guys I think we're approaching 10 minutes I'm gonna go to Kroger get the hell out of this mess Actually, you know what? I'll keep you guys on because I'm going to show you. It's a small parking lot. And I think that's the reason why people get people get tagged over here. parking lot. Look how tight it is over here. I'm used to Kroger parking lots that are much bigger than this. Would it be safe to park next to a cart thing? This is pretty good distance from the front door. Which 
we're just gonna park here. <laughs> Alright guys. Gotta go get some stuff for my next video. Peace.